In this video, we're going to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. Addison's coffee cup is two-thirds full of coffee. After Addison adds milk, the volume of liquid in the cup increased by one-fourth. How full is the coffee cup? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. All right, so in order to add two fractions, you need the denominators to be the same. Okay, so we can't just add two thirds and one fourth. So the way that we figure out, the way that we are able to add two fractions on like denominators is making equivalent fractions with like denominators. And to do that, we have to find the least common multiple. So to do that of the denominators, so to do that, we're gonna use our denominators here. We're going to go ahead and list their multiples, okay? So for three, that would be three, six, nine, 12, 15. Okay, and for four, that would be four, eight, 12, 16. Okay, so looking at these, I see that my least common multiple for both of these is 12. So since our least common multiples are 12, that means that we need to get both of these denominators to 12. And to do that, we multiply the top and the bottom number by the same number to get to the to the 12. So to get three to 12, I have to multiply by four. All right, so I'm going to do two thirds and the numerator has to get multiplied by four, the denominator has to get multiplied by four. So two fourth times, two times four is eight, three times four is 12, okay? And for four to get to 12, I have to multiply by three so that means I have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by three. Okay, so that would be three twelfths. All right, so now I could go ahead and add. So I have eight twelfths plus three twelfths equals, and then you just add across, 11 and the denominator stays the same since we're adding 11 twelfths. And you cannot simplify this anymore because there is no factor to divide both of these numbers by. So our answer is going to be 11 twelfths. Great job. All right, a gardener plants tulips in the spring. When the tulips bloom, three fourths of the tulips are pink and one half of the tulips are orange. What fraction of the tulips are pink and or or orange? All right, so we want to add three fourths plus one half, but we need to get these denominators the same. So again, we need to find our least common multiple. All right, so I'm gonna list the multiples of two, two, four. Okay, so without doing much, I know that the least common multiple of three fourths and, or of four and two is going to be four. All right, so I don't have to do anything to my three fourths because the denominator is already four. So I'm just going to multiply this fraction. One times two equals two. Two times two equals four. And now I can add. So I could do three fourths plus two fourths equals five fourths. But I can't just use this answer because it says to write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. So then I'm going to figure, I'm going to turn this into a mixed number. So I know that to do that, I could go ahead and divide. So you divide five by four. So four goes into five once. Then you do one times four, it's four. Five minus four is one. Okay, so my whole number is the answer to the division problem, so it's one, okay? My numerator is going to be my remainders, and my denominator stays the same, so one and one-fourth is our answer. All right, in Hannah's gym class, two-thirds of the students want to play baseball and one-half want to play soccer. What fraction of students in Hannah's gym class want to play baseball or soccer? All right, so we want to add two thirds plus one half. 
So our least common multiple, I know of three and two is six, okay? So we need to get both of these denominators to be six, All right? So that means we have to multiply these two, okay? So this fraction, and I'm gonna go down here because I don't have any more room, becomes four six, okay? And to get this to be six, we have to multiply by three. All right, so we have three six, okay? Then we do four plus three is seven, the six stays the same, but we gotta go ahead and turn this back into a mixed number. So we do seven divided by six. Six goes into seven once, six times one is six. Seven minus six is one, so our whole number is going to be one. Our numerator is one, and our denominator is six. So one and one six is our answer. Of the shirts in William's closet, one third are teal and another two fourths are red. What fraction of the shirts are either teal or red? Simplify your answer, write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. So we need to do one third and two fourths. So automatically I know that two fourths simplifies to one half. So that's just going to save us a step later. Okay, so either way, now we have to figure out what is our least common multiple of three and two. And I know that that's six. Okay, so we need to get our denominators to be six. So three times two, got to do the same thing to the numerator. So that's going to be two six. And this one you have to multiply by three. Okay, and that's three six. So our answer two six plus three six equals five six. Caitlin began her pizza delivery route with two thirds of a tank of gas in her car. When she made it back to the pizzeria, two fourths of a tank of gas was left. How much gas did Caitlin use? Okay, so we need to add two thirds. Scratch that, we're not going to be adding. For this one, we are going to be subtracting because we want to find out how much was left. Okay, so to subtract two fractions with unlike denominators, it's the same process. Okay, so two thirds, we want to subtract two fourths, which again, I'm going to automatically simplify to one half just to save us some time. All right, and then I know that the least common multiple of three and two is six. So we need both of these denominators to be six. All right, to do that, I'm gonna multiply that one by two, and that means I have to multiply the numerator by two. So it's four, six. This one, we have to multiply by three, do the same to the numerator. Two times three is six. One times three is three. Okay, so then we go ahead and four six minus three six. Okay, and we just subtract across. So four minus three is one, and then the six stays the same, so our answer is one six.